What is up? Woo! You lovely, beautiful people. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing well. Thanks again for tuning in to yet another electric unicycle video. Um, amazing. I'm just just want to thank you real quick for all you guys who are constantly tuning into these videos, leaving beautiful comments, good feedback for everybody and this amazing community uh, for the electric unicycle world and friends. Uh, I'm just going to put these hand things on. Now, I did want to start this video in town, but on route, a little, staying a little bit outside of the city here, um, and I wanted to start in there, but it's, it's not looking great. Weather's looking a little bit grey, and there's a little bit, there's a tiny little dog, there's a, a little bit of rain coming down, so I thought, let's get it started now, um, just in case we can't get any content. Um, so yeah, let's go. I'm going to keep you on the selfie stick, because yeah, last week's video turned out pretty good. I actually enjoyed it a lot more uh, myself. Um, Better perspective, isn't it? Still got the POV on the top there. Uh, this time I've actually brought out the longer, whoop, the longer pole. Let me get you down there a little bit further there. Yeah, brought out the longer pole. So here we are on the outskirts of the city. Oh, city of Belgrade, Serbia. Now we just need to get across the road. Yeah, outskirts of the city of Belgrade, Serbia. Let me just check my maps to make sure we're going the right way. Uh, I guess we kind of need to cross over here and zigzag through a little bit. Um, and we're going to go find the bridge. Uh, so we got there, right, dog leggy stuff. Okay. Oh, this uh, bigger pole makes it a little bit. It's not really that heavy, but you know, makes it a little bit more tricky to hold on, hold on to. Ah, oh, such a shame because um, I think we're going this way. Such a shame because when I went into work this morning or this afternoon, it was just honestly, it was so nice out, and it's been raining all week here uh, since we arrived. Nothing like the weather we had last week in Bulgaria. If you haven't checked that video out, go check it out. It's a beautiful city. I highly recommend a visit to Bulgaria. A beautiful country. Um, right, I'm just winging it here. I feel like this is the way. So this is a bit industrial. This is why I didn't want to start the video off here because, well, we want to get into the city, don't we? Check things out. Wow, that pole is long. That is, that is a long, long pole right there. Okay, two more. Oh, yeah, we go up here. Sorry, let me just find my way. How are we all doing? We all right? Friends, you doing good? Riding safe, I hope. Yeah, if it does get a little bit, a bit wet, it'd be a nice little test on these rubber, rubber V10 pedals. <clears throat> so fill you in real quick if you've been following that story there I now have a set that I, I myself personally will be able to pick up um, it from the in the UK in a couple of days because I'm heading back to the UK briefly um, and Matt has been so patient and kind <laughs> with getting these V10 is that the bridge over there Looks like the bridge over there, doesn't it? To getting these V10 pedals sent out to me. Um, so I'm really eager, I know, up here and then right down that way. I'm really eager to test them out because they look, they look great. Um, and also, just a little bit of feedback. Whoop. A little feedback on these ones. Um, as, as good as a cushioning is, I do miss, I do miss that, 
that extra super grip that you get or what you're so used to from the grip tape. Let's watch it out. I don't joust anybody with my giant pole. <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous. I'm sure it looks a bit crazy. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. It's just nice to see me riding an EUC, you know, because this is what it's all about. I guess the only thing is, is that on the POV up here, you get to see things coming at you rather than things coming behind you. It's a bit like traveling backwards on a train, almost. That's, that's probably what, it's, what it feels like when I'm watching it. Oh crap, we're gonna try and jump through here. Nice. Okay, here we are. Onto the bridge. Oh, flipping, hello. Whoa, that cool little car. <laughs> I like car, little cars. Oh, we got a bike coming up. I let him pass. It's a little bit small. Oh, itchy, itchy face. I'm glad I didn't trim the beard this morning because um, it's only keeping the face a little bit warmer. Okay, yeah, so Serbia. A busy week this week. Not as much time off at all. But that's good because I've I've been able to have my wheel since yesterday. And it's just, even though the ride into work is super short, it's just such a delightful feeling to have my wheel. I love Neil's wheel. Neil's electric wheel. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's been good. Oh wow, this is this is pretty cool. So the plan is to jump off this and ride around the river uh, to this old fortress here in uh, Belgrade. And then from there, we'll just zigzag our way around. Um, now, unlike last week where I had a lot of time off to walk around on my feet and absorb it in and sort of have a plan of action as to where I'd want to go on this video. And this week, I don't really have anything. Um, this is where I need that music playing forget who it was so sorry suggested um, I play some nice cool like classical uh, music on my my wheel nothing obnoxious but enough to make people aware that you're coming I like that idea uh, I do plan on doing that look at this this is a tram bridge and down here this is where we're gonna go try and join that cycle path Tell you what, it's a different experience holding this um, up here for the video. So yeah, you know what? I'll, it looks like we can do, hit up these stairs here, <laughs> and um, yeah, walk down. Whoop! Flip one up. Ah, oh, nice. This is good. I do have um, tomorrow morning off as well, as well as Sunday, most of Sunday off. So I'm going to see if I can get some more videos in. Which way was it? Uh, bit of street art. I like it. I'm going to go around and back. I like the world inside the avocado there. Oh, this is a stretch on the arm. I'm only filming on the, the GoPro here, but... Excuse me, I just had my dinner. Just had my dinner. Um, now, normally, I wouldn't sort of sit and stay behind work and have my dinner. Um, I sounded quite Australian, that, didn't it? My dinner. <laughs> uh, but I couldn't find any... I just didn't know any good places really. So it's good to make use of the free food, the catering at work. It was delicious. We had a chickpea curry with some veggies. That plant based. This is quite cool, isn't it? So there's the bridge we just came across. Yeah. So you can do stuff like this with a pole. Woo! Okay, let's let's mosey on. <laughs> 
very nice I like it because there's a cycle path so cool how's that view see me yeah, there's like ah, nice bit of graffiti yeah cool oh yeah look at these um turn into coffee coffee carts haven't they that blue one is that blue one's wicked <laughs> all right let's keep on moseying on so this is good you see um because of this week i haven't i haven't seen any of this yet this is this is my first first time seeing this with you guys uh yeah this is good i, I was a bit reluctant to come out as well i'm glad i did i always feel better do any of you guys feel like that? You will, friends. You know. Yeah. Uh, should I go out my wheel today? All right, you go out. You're like, yes. How good is this thing? Whew. It's just so much fun, isn't it? That's the thing with these wheels. It's just fun. I can't say fun. <laughs> How much better can you say it? It's fun. Flipping fun, Neil. This was the bridge I was originally going to go across. Um, I'm glad I came down that one. <laughs> came down that one. There's a bit of building work going on around here. Got some people doing a bit of fishing. Lots of people doing fishing. Okay, so the... <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, so let's just follow this around, shall we? So I've been eyeing up. I can't remember if it was in the last one I've released it yet. I've got three now, three videos, I think, that are going in the archives. <laughs> the archives. <laughs> are going in, are on the hard drive, ready to just be released when Neil has to pack his wheel off from Moscow in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna buy a suitcase and just stick it in uh, and then get a courier to ship it off to Australia by uh, by sea or train or I'm not sure how it'll go but ho hopefully it won't take too long so we can have a little we can have it for a short short time in Australia and I can show you around my crib my house that'd be wicked um, so I gotta send that off Ah. Nice. This is cool, isn't it? Serbia is kicking it. Kicking it. Killing it. So much space. So yeah, um, what was I saying? Yes. So in one of my videos, I was talking about the Brompton bicycle. If you've not heard of the Brompton, it is basically the ultimate foldable bicycle. Now you might be thinking, hold on a minute. Thought he was all into his electric modes of transportation. Now look, I am, I am, but unfortunately right now, I can't take, you know, I'm coming to that point where you guys are, where I'm gonna get past these, this family here. <laughs> Taking it off road. <laughs> I'm coming to that's a pretty cool sculpture isn't it I'm coming to the point now like you guys where I'm going to have to think about travelling my wheel um, and at the moment as you all know there just isn't really a way I've been thinking about um, certain wheels where it's a little bit easier to take the batteries apart the 9 bot. Uh, e plus looks pretty easy to do two batteries on either side there um, and then just if I was going somewhere like Thailand or something for a couple of weeks then what I would do is just send them via courier to the, my hotel that I've booked say in Bangkok and then I just pack my wheel without the batteries and I meet the batteries there um, obviously I'd have to send 
send the batteries in advanced. Um, I mean, that is the only way I can think of it. So until then, I've been thinking about bicycles because when I go to Macau, uh, on my days off, if I get a little few days off because we're so close to uh, Southeast Asia, other places in Asia, sorry, um, I'll have the opportunity to, you know, get a short flight, four hour flight to Bangkok, four hour flight to Tokyo, Singapore, all those amazing places are just at my doorstep. Um, so a Brompton bicycle is, it looks like the way to go. Um, I know it's not, an, you can get the new electric Brompton, but the batteries are just too big again. They're too, uh, oh, let's get a little school group of kids here. Might jump on this side, get out of that way. Yeah, so just a little bit, they're just a bit too big, the batteries. And I looked at the Luffy and that sort of stuff. You can get the 130 watt uh, one, but then, you know, you just never know what the airline's gonna say because you're gonna have to take it on as hand luggage anyway. As you know, it's just a bit of a, bit of a mission, unfortunately. So until that day happens, um, I'm gonna be without my wheel on some of the travels. Um, airline travels anyway. This is a beautiful ride, by the way. Um, I don't know if you want to just put your own music on over this and mute my my voice chatting breeze here. <laughs> my arm's getting a bit sore, it's windy too. Got a bit of rain coming in. Oh, wow. Okay, that is a pretty cool. I'm just going to over and have a look at that quickly. I want to make sure I'm not filming people. I think we get a bit... I mean, I get, I get a bit weirded out too if people start filming me. But this is this is very cool. Yeah, nice. Maybe I'll hit that tomorrow morning. Uh, do a bit of calisthenics. Oh, the kids are catching me up, flipping egg. Hello, big hops. Uh, uh. Using the course to bills. So anyway, a Brompton bike might be the go. Um, they're so cool too. Anyway, I've been obsessing over Brompton bikes a lot uh, recently. Um, and I was thinking about buying one next week off eBay. A little bit cheaper because they're, they're not cheap, you know. They're pretty expensive. And then shipping it back to Australia and then taking it off to Macau. And even possibly because um, I'm going to be... I'm going to be... Like a robot. I'm going to be doing this Asian tour for two and a half weeks while we go to Japan and a few other places for this other job it'd be nice to have a mode of transport you know um, or maybe we could do videos like this but obviously not on the wheel still taking you around those cities but on a bike I know it goes against the whole EUC ethos of these videos but I think for a few goes, I think it would make some make for some nice videos. Um, but there is also an, a chance where we may be able to. I say we because it's us, you know, the community, the community EUC. Um, or we could hire maybe um, an electric unicycle out there. So who knows? Who knows? But um, a fold-up bike would be pretty cool. Now. I don't know how far I've gone. I feel like I've gone pretty far because we went pa past the fortress quite some time ago now. Oh no. Okay. We can somehow, we can sort of make, maybe I can like jump on Google Maps here. See how we can get into the park. The rain's staying off. That's good stay enough all right so it says oh it's actually saying go further up and then take a right up here i might just jump back on i'm going to stay here there's a cycle path there there's loads of these parks flipping awesome flipping awesome get this I'm still waiting 
I've been waiting for weeks, honestly. It's probably been about two and a half, no, three weeks now. Three weeks, is this the turn off? Three weeks to get my my wheel even just deli like put into delivery mode from uh, from AliExpress. You know, as you some of some of you know, I've been um, I don't know, still a bit still a bit further. <laughs> as some of you are aware, I'm still rocking the original. I've done over two thousand kilometers now on my in motion. In motion V8 slash V10 pedals, um, and yeah, I'm I'm due for a new wheel. I'm glad Wind is not here anymore. Uh, but the flipping AliExpress, they just I've tried to contact them and I'm, I've got the app and stuff. What? They got all the facilities. Flipping cool. Yeah, they just don't don't want to send me my. <laughs> hey, those kids! Ooh, whoa! <laughs> they just don't want to send me my bloody thingy, my new wheel. <laughs> a bit frustrating. I was hoping to have it before. Uh, well, that overpass looks kind of closed, but that person over there is literally, literally. <laughs> walking across the railway railway tracks so when in rome i mean when in serbia do how the serbians do the overpass is closed so oh hello walk across the tra railway tracks now i do not recommend this Please don't judge me. I mean, old ladies walking across it. Seems like the right thing to do. Wee. Yeah, everyone's just walking across. This is kind of weird. But, oh no, 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 no. There's, there's no way, no way trains are running on these lines still. If they are, that's pretty impressive stuff. <laughs> Well then, this is cool. Although this train line here is definitely, definitely still uh, still in action. So maybe we can get a little uh, screenshot here. Smile. Eee. <laughs> this is a bit nuts, isn't it, really? I might, uh, just for the sake of... Oh, what are you doing here? You're going to scratch your new pedals. Yeah, I know. Just for the sake of the total randomness of this, let's get a picture. <coughs> what is going on? <laughs> Yeah, I was a little bit protective over the the pedals in the beginning, but you know they're gonna get scratched up anyway. Yeah, wow, that. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, look, that is definitely out of action for now, isn't it? You do not want to be. That is a giant pigeon. Nice looking pigeon. That is a jo uh, no, that's not the pigeon. A little bit out of action. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, we still got more tracks. Let's see if we can. Ah, uh... oh, easy. Whoop. Okay. Oh, hello. In a puddle. So we've gone right out. This is great. Sometimes when you come to a city, it's so easy to uh, to get stuck in uh, <laughs> in the city and forget just to go out on the outskirts just briefly. Um, it's amazing what you might find, you know. 
Okay, so we're gonna go down there. You're right. Down here, and then left at some point. Um, first of all, I should probably get off the wrong side of the road, which I'm gonna do now. This is the thing with the pole. I don't want to be on on the. R oh, we're getting up. There's a car. I don't want to be on the road holding a selfie stick like this. It's a little bit silly, isn't it? Okay. Whoop. Around this car, and we're off again. Yeah. So if you ever go anywhere. Just jump on a tram or a bit of public transport. You don't have to go far. Um, now this isn't something I do in every city. Uh, certainly more so because I have my wheel. But definitely get out of the city centre just for a little bit. You don't have to go far. Um, it's just nice to feel what it's like outside of the big city. You know, totally different impression see how the local people live like with all those parks near the river there that's really cool isn't it and they don't look new either they they've been there for a very long time um, I find that really interesting okay we've got a giant tree I'm not gonna try and get around that so well, I hope we can get a little bit closer to the main city. A bit quicker. Oh, I got an itchy nose today. What does that mean? <laughs> okay. Shoop doop doo. Shoop doop doop doo. -do. Have all you guys watched Speedy Feet's video? They're late. I don't know if it's the latest anymore, but they're. Or were any of you guys at that meetup? It looked amazing. So many people seem to turn out. So we're gonna go up and next right. There we go. We got a plane there. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> oh, we got a green. We got a green. Yeah, really cool video. Um, well documented and I like the EUC polo that looks like a lot of fun um, and so many wheels so many cool wheels I did notice it was 99.99% blokes um, I wonder oh yeah we can go up here I think it'd be I just, it'd be nice to have more ladies, wouldn't it? Ladies in the in the mix. Balance out the testosterone and the pheromones. <laughs> Look at this cool looking Ferris wheel. I like it. That is fresh as well. Ah, so I was here the other day. But I didn't have an opportunity to. Again, I was just on my feet, so you you don't tend to venture out too far. Shut up! They got trampolines. Okay, that is awesome. Now, normally, I would have to have a tramp session, but it's good to know that they're there. It's good to know. This is a thing, man. This is a thing. You get to see and uh, find, so I found a calisthenic park and I found a, because I looked social for trampoline parks here, but nothing. There you go, found one. Oh, this is pretty cool too. Look at this park. This video should just be called Awesome Parks of Serbia. Can we go up this? Whoa, that was steep as that, mate. Whee! <laughs> cool. Yeah, very cool park. I like it. Big one. 
<laughs> Thank you. I think he said something, something super and gave me a smile. So uh, I'm gonna, everyone's smiling, everyone's lovely and nice. I think as well, with it being, you know, 2019 and social media being where it is at the moment and certainly YouTube and the idea of vlogging, which is basically what we're doing here, isn't it? Uh, I remember, oh, I can't remember what it was, how many years, it was quite some years ago now when I started, I started getting into more focused vlogging videos. It's nice. Um, I've done quite a lot of little montage travel style videos. <clears throat> and even then it was just weird having a camera pointed at your face. Like the social interaction uh, and the reaction you got from other people was, I don't know, it's made you feel a little bit easy, un uneasy. Um, but now, let's go to this park over here. There's another park. Um, and then I remember when I started doing daily vlogs. I did vlogs and I went daily. Uh, daily vlogged my whole time in Thailand. I spent over two months, about two months in Thailand. And I, that's when I really started my vlogging journey. Um, it was horrible. I mean, not horrible, but it was tough. It was a... Uh, it was a tricky, tricky experience holding a camera in front of your face and telling a story, having a narrative. Um, and it was tricky, honestly, really tricky, but I stuck with it and I spent, you know, those two months and then even more after. And then I got back on it again later on uh, when I moved to Australia, vlogged all that. It's all vlogs about us traveling around Australia and our mini home that we bought. And then you can actually see us purchasing our house in Australia. It's all there. It's all good stuff. Good memories for us to look back on. Uh, but what I'm saying is that now, because it's so socially accepted, I guess, having a camera in front of your face like this, people just people are like, oh, that guy's shooting a YouTube video. He must be vlogging. There's no... It just feels easier to do. Uh, I mean, certainly with a helmet on. Uh, and, and because you're not, you're not walking... And people can't really hear what you're saying, you know, like because I'm walk, because I'm going quite fast. So we're dinosaur park. People don't, you don't have chance to s sort of sit still with those people, and allow them to hear what you're saying. So <clears throat> even though I don't feel, I don't really feel it anymore, um, but certainly it's a lot easier to do. Certainly a lot easier to do on the electric unicycle here. Um, but yeah, anyway, people seem to know what you're doing, and they think that's pretty cool. And like, it's a thing now, isn't it? So anyway, here we are at the fortress, checking out all the old tanks and artillery. Woo <laughs> Amazing. Military museum. I thought I was going to tell me what it was. I know it's a tank, but what tank? I see. And the cool thing about uh, this place is that it's completely free, free to, free to roam around. Um, and I think we shall be all right just wheeling about, which is awesome, isn't it? Oh, I'm glad the weather's held off. I've actually got a beautiful sunset going on over there. Let me see if we can have a little look around here. I don't want to go too close to the edge. Look at that. Beautiful. Marvellous. So you can see the bridge, green bridge over there in the distance. That's where we come from. We zipped all the way around there. Um, it's been a nice, comfortable ride, actually. Super easy. Definitely makes me want to come out tomorrow and definitely Sunday. Um, I do have a little video 
points I might see if I can try and shoot today actually there's a skate park near the hotel I'm gonna go do a video there but um, a little tutorial video that I did mention I was gonna do back in Germany oh hello <sighs> my hand is hurting how long we've been going 35 35 minutes probably about 33 maybe perfect I know the balance is somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes um, so we're almost almost there friends stay with me <laughs> so give me the peace sign not the that sign the other sign I'm going to take that as a positive. We're into the fortress. Yes, very nice. Great, isn't it? Flipping marvellous. Ah, let loose. Loosen up them hips. Them hips. You just fly around here. Watching out for the pigeons. Very cool. Sound effects. Ooh. Didn't know we could go down here. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Yes, we can. Ah, oh, wicked. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh. <laughs> Breathe in, suck it in. <laughs> Lovely. Man, I don't think any. I don't think these pedals will take away this flipping neck. Saying that though, on a post, a comment that I made on a video, um. It was m made aware that somewhere on the EUC forum about the V10, someone was saying that. Uh, oh, I don't want to go too far around. I want to head back into the into the fortress so, so we can drink in those beautiful views. Yeah, someone was saying that uh, In Motion had somebody from In Motion had commented saying that they're wor they're currently working on a new wheel with suspension. <laughs> Now, I didn't even think about that being a thing, but it does make a lot of sense. Uh, if you can have a little bit, of, little bit of suspension in the wheel, in the wheel itself, it would make, it would just change the game, wouldn't it? I think it would need to be able to, they're like mountain bikes. So my mountain bike at home, I can. Um, no, I'm gonna go down there. Sometimes I just avoid stairs. But this time, I'm gonna make use of flipping, hello. I'm gonna make use of picking up the wheel and coming down some stairs. Yeah, I feel like on my mountain bike at home, you know, with the front forks, you can turn the suspension off and on, on and off. I think, I mean, hopefully, I mean, getting suspension would be wicked but at the same time it would be nice if you could actually turn it off and on as well flipping it that is a bit uh, a bit crazy that <sighs> okay just getting in the way of these people but there's a little fortress down there i wonder if we can i wonder if we can go down there be tricky as yes, coming back up though but I'm up for the challenge got to keep things interesting haven't we all right let's do it as I like to say fuck it <laughs> oh god this oh no this does not this is already a bad idea yeah nah oh no look at that it's pretty damn steep there I think I'd fly off the wheel. 
I, mean, I could just try, come on, just try it. It's like the wheel doesn't even want to friggin' nah, 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 nah. Oh, Neil's like, yeah, the wheel can go everywhere. <laughs> Maybe a bigger wheel, if I had a bigger wheel. When I get hooked up with a new emotion wheel. Emotion if you're listening guys. <laughs> Let's collaborate and listen. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we're going back. Ooh. Do wanna make sure that I save a little bit of uh battery so I can get back oh, excuse me oh this guy's got a mountain bike assist okay Whew. oh it was a shame I didn't go down that hill there but I really didn't want to fly off backwards, so if I'd lost the wheel, would have tumbled down for ages. I've only got one. Can't afford to to lose it. All right. I think everyone's coming to pay for this sunset. You know why not? Look at these views. Very cool. Absolutely lovely. I'm so happy the weather, uh, the weather held off there. All right, I'm gonna go up to that mound over there, and uh, we'll say our goodbyes for this week. I say that, but I'll hopefully try and get another video out. get another video out won't we Neil yes we will <laughs> oh. certainly able to pop off uh, pop off um, that is a big dog pop off curves and stuff like that a lot easier than I have been able to in the past due to the new pedals. Oh, that's just like, the views just keep getting different and different, differenter and differenter. It's not even real English, that. I've been away from my home country for too long. <laughs> I'm forgetting how to speak. All right. I want to get now. We'll, we'll finish it here, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to yet another electric unicycle adventure. I could keep on going for hours, actually. There's a there's a lot more to see, and um, maybe this is just part one of. Belgrade, Serbia. Um, tune in for part two. Hopefully we can make it happen, weather dependent of course. Um, so until then, drop us a like. I think it does, I'm not really not sure, I've not really got onto that sort of stuff. I mean, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Join the community. Uh, but if not, don't. Like, it's, all, it's all good. Just tune in. Uh, they'll be coming out weekly still. Generally on Fridays but I'm a little bit it's a bit all squiff at the moment but anyway once a week from a different country we've still got Copenhagen St. Petersburg and Moscow on this tour and then more to come because uh, you know going to Asia moving to China all that business Australia we're going to keep it going guys thank you so much for tuning in you're awesome ride safe live laugh and love peace <laughs>